Hello, young scientists. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be learning about the kelp forest biome and the different animals you would find inside of a kelp forest. Okay, so here we have a kelp forest, which I've made just by printing out some pictures from the internet and cutting them out and arranging them in this fun little scene here. And so let's get into it. So the kelp forest is one type of ocean habitat that is close to shore and it is centered around the kelp plants. At the bottom of the kelp plant here is something called the holdfast, which helps to hold the kelp to the seafloor, almost like plant roots. If you look really closely also, you can see there are these small round structures on the plant which are filled with air to help the kelp float when it gets too heavy. Okay, so we're going to start adding some animals to our scene here. Animals that you would typically find in a kelp forest. So the first one is going to be a sea urchin. Okay, sea urchins have sharp spines covering their hard shelled body. Only animals that can crack through the spiny shell can eat them. They live on the ocean floor in the kelp forest and eat the old decaying pieces of kelp. Sometimes when there are too many sea urchins in one area, they also eat the kelp strands they are attached to. They can chew through the kelp strand and it will actually float away. So that really shows, you know, if there's too many sea urchins on the bottom, it ends up destroying the kelp forest and it throws off the whole balance of this habitat. So it's very important that we keep a, a nice balance in their ecosystems to allow them to thrive and the animals to thrive there as well. Okay, so next up we have the bat star, which is a type of starfish which also lives on the seafloor. And bat stars can eat both plants and animals. That is what is called an omnivore. The bat star eats old, decaying pieces of kelp and small creatures such as sea worms and slugs. Its mouth is on the bottom of its body. Since a bat star doesn't have teeth, it eats by pushing out its stomach from inside its body and covering its food. Stomach juices digest the food and tiny hairs move the gooey meal inside its body. Okay, next up we have the abalone. Abalone are a type of snail. They have hard shell on top and a soft, fleshy body underneath. The inside of their shell is actually pearly and shiny. I actually have an abalone shell here, which I can show you. On the outside, you see it looks a lot like the ocean floor, almost like sand, which helps it to camouflage, right? But on the inside, once the fleshy part is removed, you can, it reveals this very nice pearly glowing shell inside. So people like to collect them because they're so beautiful. Now abalone's main food is actually kelp. So now we're gonna get up to the fish that roam around in the kelp forest and which fish to start with would be better than the actual kelp fish. Okay, now the kelp fish is a master of camouflage. It clings onto a kelp frond or leaf and sways in the water as if it's a piece of kelp. It will hold on and that helps it to camouflage and hide from fish that might want to eat it. The kelp fish will eat small fish, clams, crab, and mussels. Okay, next up, I've only got one of these, but it's the very beautiful bright orange Garibaldi. Now the Garibaldi is actually the California state fish. When they're young, Garibaldi actually have a bright blue polka dot pattern on them. It lives in the kelp forest and eats kelp, other types of algae, and small creatures such as tube worms and sea slugs. Garibaldi are territorial meaning they will attack other fish that get too close. Okay, next up we have the very interesting looking sheep's head wrasse. Okay, the sheep's head wrasse is the only fish in the kelp forest with a mouth strong enough to eat the hard, spiny sea urchin. 
So let's have it go down and grab one of these sea urchin. It has a strong jaw and tough hard teeth which it uses to crack through the urchin's shell. It can also eat other hard-shelled creatures such as crabs, clams, and mussels. Okay, last but not least, one of the cutest animals in the ocean, the sea otter. The sea otter is a mammal that lives in groups in the kelp forest. They eat many of the shelled creatures common in the kelp forest. But their favorite foods are abalone, sea urchins, and clams. So let's put another one since they are in groups here. And let's give them some of their favorite foods. So here's a sea urchin for this guy. Here's another sea urchin for that one. And let's go ahead and grab one of these abalone and give it to this one. Sea otters use rocks to help crack open the hard shells of their food. Otters will wrap themselves in a strand of kelp when they want to rest, and the kelp keeps them from floating away. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed learning about the kelp forest biome and the different animals you'd find inside of it. My challenge to you now is to create a picture of your own of a kelp forest. So you can either do like I did, you can cut out different animals and the kelp and put it all, glue it down on a piece of paper, or you can just draw on a piece of paper a picture of the kelp forest yourself. So you can draw it out, you can color it in, and then if you want you can even add little labels to the different animals you'd find inside there. Alright, so I hope you have fun with it and you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Okay scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.